What does this California squirrel have in common with these humans? <coughs> Ringing for service can drive a person squirrely. I heard this like incessant ringing noise. And I was like, what is going on? And my coworker was like, oh, we taught the squirrel to ring the bell. Grad students and researchers at this Berkeley microbiology lab enjoy feeding a squirrel who comes to their window ledge, but recently they trained the squirrel to ring the bell to get a treat. Good job, Cloyver. They named him Cloyver after a famous microbiologist, Albert Cloyver. Online posters were smitten, though someone griped. He only gets one almond after all that? I think we don't want the squirrel to rely on us as a, the main source of food. They trained Cloyver by making the bell ring whenever he begged, and if he happened to strike the string waving his paws, he got a nut. But the peanut gallery complained, lower the bell, geez. So they not only lowered the string, they gave the squirrel a step stool mug. I lengthened the string. You know, I caved to the criticism a little bit. In the immortal words of Lurch, You rang. <laughs> now the lab rats are at the service of the squirrel. Genie Mouse, CNN, New York.